In this week's recap, the Dow, S&P 500, and NASDAQ all advance more than 2% in five days, while investors review tame inflation data and wait for further news in U.S.-China trade negotiations. Emotion has no place in your investments, so how do you know what news actually matters? Hi, I'm Eric, and in the next few minutes, we're gonna forget the headlines and focus on the facts. Here's what really happened last week. Well, the big story last week was the sudden grounding of Boeing 737 MAX 8 and MAX 9 passenger jets in dozens of countries. The financial effects of this ban could potentially impact the airline industry and segments of the economy for months. While the news created a headwind for the Dow Industrials, stocks managed to post solid gains for the week. The NASDAQ composite rose 3.12%, the S&P 500 up 2.46%, and the Dow up 2.25%. Bullish sentiment was also evident overseas. Looking at the MSCI EFI index, international stocks advanced 1.93%. Wall Street expected President Trump and Chinese President Xi to discuss trade issues this month. Thursday, Bloomberg reported that their talk had been postponed with no firm date ahead. Well, the latest consumer price index showed just a 1.5% rise in overall consumer costs in the year ending in February. This number does not suggest an overheating economy. During a 60 Minutes interview last week, Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell said the central bank did not feel any hurry to make a rate move. If you turned 70 and a half last year, April 1st is your final deadline to receive your initial required minimum distribution from a traditional IRA, SEP IRA, simple IRA, or employer-sponsored retirement plan. If you take your initial RMD from these retirement accounts this year, you must receive your second RMD from them by December 31st of this year, 2019. All right, looking ahead at this week, a fairly quiet week. Looking at Wednesday, the Federal Reserve will be wrapping up its two-day policy meeting. And then on Friday, the February existing home sales report is released. Hey, this is Eric again. That's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. If you'd prefer to read the transcript each week, you can subscribe to that at www.erichagen.pro. Also, if you'd like to get financially organized, head on over to nocostfinancialdashboard.com and take control of your financial future. Lastly, if you want to find out if you're invested right, visit getinvestedright.com right now. Thank you again for your time today. I'll look for you next week.